Hi Crunchers, welcome to installment number two of Flexit. Today we're going to be focusing on the upper body, as promised. I hope you found last week's lower body breakdown useful. Now recall that flexibility is kind of a continuum. Everywhere from static stretching and foam rolling to active flexibility to a dynamic warm-up. So we're going to mix a combination of all those things in here today. Give you some options, some different things. But again, we're focusing on the upper body, a lot of that shoulders, upper back, midsection, get ourselves ready. So let's jump right into it, not waste any time. First thing we're going to look at is some pec stretch variations. This is a very common tight muscle on folks, so we can simply anchor our upper arm on an upright, flex it against a wall, whatever you need to do. Not too far away from you, that's Jax by the way, my great day, he's about a year and a half old. From here, we just take a little step forward, we start to get a little bit of a stretch if you need more. Simply rotate away, make sure that the shoulder stays down. We don't want it jamming up. If you go too far, what's going to happen is you're going to find that that lifts up. So just, just take a little step forward, take a little rotation away, you should feel a stretch. You can try different variations as to where you place the arm to get stretches on different portions of the pectoralis. One of my favorite is to go high with the arm, real close, and I'm going to rotate down and away and get kind of a distracting force on the shoulder. Again, making sure that it doesn't elevate. If you're doing a static stretch, 20 to 30 second hold, one to two times per side. If we're doing that as more of an active flexibility, what I would simply do is contract the opposite muscle. So I would go into retraction, contract those muscles, hold them for about five seconds, relax and move out of it, repeat that five or six times per side. Next, we're gonna look at some lat stretch variations. So sticking with our uprights, I can simply grab hold, shift my weight back, because my lat's attached down here towards my lumbar spine, hi guys. I can go ahead and go into a posterior tilt as I sit myself back. I can also shift my weight a little bit to one side and get a little bit more stretch as well. Play around with some of those variations. Next, we're gonna go into some shoulder mode type things. Nope, now's not the time to play, Jax. So I'm going to get into a 90-90 variation on the floor. 90 degree bend at the hips of jacks. Nobody's going to be able to see with you standing there. Go get it. 90 degree bend in the knees. And I'm going to keep my arms here. I can't remember exactly what this is called. It's been a while since I've done it, but it's kind of an alligator one. So from here, trying to keep my hips and my knees still, and I can even lock them a little bit, I'm going to rotate over and try to touch the floor. Do this multiple times, you'll find that you loosen up five or six times each side. We can also <laughs> add in arm circles from the same position, a 90 and a 90. What I'm going to do is use my bottom arm to anchor to my top knee, or get my dog to do it for me. And what I'm going to do is, keeping my finger on the ground, I'm going to rotate and trace on the floor as I roll back going into internal rotation in the back and they'll rolling around back to the front multiple times with this about five or six you'll find that things start to loosen up each time you roll around go slow take your time you may find you get hung up somewhere that's okay it's a process next we're going to go into some uh, kneeling variations for uh, low back thoracic hips we're going to do a cat stretch, do a dog stretch. So, uh, wrists under my shoulders, knees under my hips. I can do my cat stretch. Go into the opposite. Back and forth on here. Also, sitting back on my heels, reaching forward, getting a shoulder stretch. Some variations that we have. Next, we're going to start to get a little bit more into the warm-up phase where we start to go through some motions through the shoulder and get them on line. One of my favorites that really works kind of all positions through the rotator cuff is often referred to as a PNF move. Uh, that's short for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. So now you know why we say PNF. Basically, we start with the arm across the body internally rotated as if I'm pouring something out. And then I'm going to come from low to high across my body and go into external rotation and retraction so that my palm is up at the top. 
This kind of works everything through the shoulder. You can start with simply no weight. Uh, if you do add load to this, please do it very low. Uh, this is not meant to be a heavy exercise. All right, both sides for that as well. And we can start to get into some variations of shoulder motions. Wise, and this is often referred to as scaption because of the way in which your scapula or your shoulder blades sit on your rib cage. I can do my Y's. I can do that from a bent over position. Hi, Jack. I can do T's, right? Variations of Cobras. Come on. Oh, yes, I know. Good boy. And we can even use tubing or a cable to start to get into some of those things if we want to add a little bit of resistance to it, right? So I can kind of come high and I can start working nice and slow, different positions, different orientations, even adding some cobra to that, meaning I go to internal rotation here with my palms down to external rotation here. Have some fun with it. Then I can start to add some rowing motions to it in different planes, very light. I'm just working through motions, seeing how everything feels. That's it. So, <laughs> covered a lot in a short period of time, probably a first for me. Uh, the dog was only mildly uh, in my way, but uh, hopefully you got to see everything okay. This was episode two of Flexit. Also, I'm gonna let you know that we have some things coming up. After me today, we've got Urban Kicks Ass on Facebook. And tomorrow at 1 p.m. we have Flexit Friday with Sam. So I hope you found some of these things useful. Give them a try. Go slow. If you have questions, let us know. And uh, I'll be seeing you again soon. Have a great day.